Welcome to Stardew Productions. My name is Aaron. One half, 50%. There's two of us on this channel. We have been building this Yamaha bolt for the last year. When we got it, it was bone stock. Not a thing was changed on it. And we have gotten it to this point so far, it is looking great. Today, I am ecstatic to reveal these crash bars, which were custom made for this bike. They are not on the market yet, but they will be soon. We're not only going to be installing these crash bars today, but doing a little review on them. And then we're going to thrash them around and try to break them. So before we cue the intro, I want to do a huge shout out to Chewy who made these crash bars. I'm going to link his Instagram down below. Thank you so much. I am honored to be able to do this with you. You did a great job, man, and I am excited to see these on the market. Either way, cue the intro. This is going to be a fun one, guys. <laughs> it's freaking hot. Here, just have a seat with me. I'm out back and I am building a planter with Haley. We're talking, we're out there for a couple hours. A guy that I mentioned in the previous video built a custom crash cage for my motorcycle. Now he contacted me and was like, would you be interested in anything like this? And I was like, absolutely, I need it. If you haven't checked out last week's video, go check it out, I kind of explained it. Either way, I walk out and there's just a glowing package inside my garage. This is the package! Just chop it open, put it on the bike. It's like 150 degrees outside right now. I'm sweating my butt off. I was just building the planter. I saw this pack. <laughs> I, <saw this, laughs> I saw this package, thought, man. The viewers need to see my pack. These are so nice, dude. I'm not even, these are literally so ridiculous. Look at these. This is so awesome, dude! Before we put on the new crash bars, we have to take off the old ones. So we're gonna start by removing the bolts right here, and then take out the foot pegs and all that stuff, or the foot peg brackets. The problem we're running into right now is I don't have uh, like car jack stands or like side stands for the bike. So we're gonna have to figure out what to do with the other side because the kickstand, here I'll just show you. See the kickstand is attached to this foot peg bracket, so that's gonna, that's gonna be an issue. I'm also sorry about the noise the dryer is going, but but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the other side crash cage uh, that was originally on the bike. If you guys want to see a review on these crash bars, I'll leave it right here, but let's get to taking them off. Wow, that really messed up my frame. Right there is exactly why I did not like these crash bars. They mount directly to the frame itself, and it just allows for so much damage to be done to the frame, the paint, could bend it, all that stuff. That's why I'm so excited about these crash bars. They're not gonna put the stress of the crash back on the frame. This bolt and this bolt right here to remove the foot peg bracket, it's going to be a eight millimeter Allen key. And then you're gonna need a 14 millimeter crescent for the back. Now that that bolt is removed, I'm gonna just pull this out a little bit, to get, back, get it past the frame, and we're gonna slide it down. Pop this bolt back in. There we go, and loosely tighten the nut back on the other side. While I'm doing this guys, I want you to leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see more of. Do me a favor while, we're on, while I'm thinking about it, please like this video and subscribe. It would help us out greatly. Um, we put out a video every single week. Boom. Those things are so bent. Oh my gosh. And then we're going to put this back in there. But we put out a video every single week guys. Uh, normally it's motorcycle related, but it could vary it, very greatly. So. Uh, just do us a favor, at least like this video, even if you don't like it, just like it because you hate YouTube's algorithm. Moving right along. We got this all off. Look at this thing. It's so bent. Holy crap, this thing is warped. Well, at least I can say I used them. Thank you, Haley. Alright guys, while I'm eating this, I want to talk to you guys about something really fast. Big travel video coming up. I'm really, really excited about this one. It's like the first trip I've taken in like a really long time where it was like kind of spur of the moment. Um, and I get to go see some people that I really haven't seen in a very long time. Really excited about that. Awesome clips. What we're going to be doing is really crazy and awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So many awesomes. The other half of Tardy Productions and I, oh, we're going on a sick a sick trip it's gonna be so much fun this one's actually gonna be crazy we're going out of like we're going out of the physical land country i haven't edited this video that i took of Haley and i going to a particular place it's awesome it was a very fun trip and we got some like crazy shots either way that's gonna be super fun i'll have that edited at some point 
We're gonna be switching from Final, uh, from iMovie over to Adobe Premiere pretty soon. Um, I just have to get my new computer all set up. I'm gonna make a video about building the computer and everything, but yeah, we got a ton, we got a ton of stuff going on. I'm really excited about this channel. It's crazy where it's over 700 subscribers. I literally never thought, well, I always hoped that we would be over 700, but I never thought that we'd actually get there. And it's just been growing so quickly. So thank you to everyone who has been subscribed since like 100, which is just crazy to think about. Um, and thank you to everyone who just subscribed. Seriously, thank you for sticking around. We're only gonna be putting out better content as it, as it goes on, as I grow as a filmer and as a builder and all those things and as a writer. Um, I'm just super stoked about all this stuff. I thought you said writer. A writer, as I grow as a poet. Let's get this crash cage on. What am I doing? Let's do this. This was meant to be installed with a uh, jack stand, which I, I don't have, clearly. So install on this with a motorcycle stand would be exponentially easier. <laughs> Uh, From the front, are you kidding me? The white pops on this bike. Mine is gonna be a different color. But uh, dude, this is crazy. I cannot wait to get my set. This is, these are unbelievable. Look at that view, dude. Look at that bolt. Ah, oh, it's so clean. It's so nice, dude, you killed it. So freaking clean. I am so excited to thrash these around. And look at how much coverage they give. Literally almost out to where the foot pegs go. If these fold in, nothing's gonna touch. That's, dude, I'm so stoked about this. I just need to get a rear crash. While we're looking at it, I want you guys to take a look at that right there. That's from the old crash bars. This is, you get what you pay for. I mean, this doesn't affect your frame at all. It actually saves it a ton. It's gonna save your bike. Those other ones destroyed the front of my frame. I'm gonna have to paint that or something. These, these are not crash bars. These are highway pegs at best. Those, those are actual crash bars. And the craziest thing about these crash bars is this man said, oh, they're not the prettiest. You know, I'll make better ones when I, when I run them out in production. These look gorgeous. The welds are beautiful, the paint is beautiful. He says he's gonna up the paint, up the welds, up everything. He's gonna, he's gonna clean up the edges, all that. Dude, these are gorgeous crash bars. I, I literally would be thrilled if mine were half as nice as this. If you guys wanna hit him up, this is his Instagram. Definitely blow him up to make some crash bars. We gotta get these on the market. These are better than anything else on the market by far. I am so excited to thrash these things around. I'm gonna ask for them completely raw, and then I'm gonna paint from this corner back black so that it blends in with the frame and then I'll just have raw front crash bars. This is gonna be ridiculous, dude. Look at those. Do you like the crash bars, Keen? He loves them. He loves them. I'll see you guys tomorrow. There's a little bit of design aspects that I think I'm gonna to talk to him about and try to get these tweaked so that they're perfect for the bike. But besides that, I see no negatives to these crash bars. I actually think that these are the best option that will be on the market. Actually, I know that they'll be the best on the market. I want a crash cage that is able to be used over and over again, take multiple drops, not just one or two little drops and then they're bent and then I have to worry about the bike getting damaged. Something that can really take a beating and this seems like it's it. So I'm gonna drift around a little bit, try to lay down the bike and uh, show you guys what it looks like on the ground. But so far I am thrilled about these crash bars and I'm not just saying that because the guy was really nice. I honestly mean that. I've been wanting crash bars designed like this for years. Literally since I got my first Yamaha Bolt, I wish that they had made crash bars. And this guy went above and beyond with the build quality and just the sturdiness and the, he over designed it. it it's, a great, it's a great product. I'm very eager to see what happens when he uh, tweaks it a little bit and when he starts really producing them. I think that a lot of people will buy these and uh, I think they'll sell out pretty quickly. Either way, enough talking. Let's get on the bike and do some stunting. All right, guys, it's like 100 degrees out. I'm very dehydrated. Try this again. Woo! Almost lost it there. Whew. All right, let's sit him down on that. Oh gosh. Okay. Bike's dead. Whew. I was doing gas dumping everywhere. Okay, so here's a problem I see real quick. I don't think that they're wide enough 
Oh, they're really taking the impact pretty well though. I don't think that they're wide enough to keep the bike up, which is a big requirement that I have because, I mean, you can see the side of my grips. They're thrashed apart. But it's taking the weight. It's doing a pretty good job. Not bad. So it looks like the, what is that, the left side? So it looks like the left side of the crash bars take the impact just fine. Oh my gosh, that's heavy. Let's see what the right side does. Whew. I'm out of breath, guys. It's freaking hot out today. Let's hope that's not a cop. All right. Either way, this is the right side. See, that's a problem right there. So it looks like on the left side, they take the impact pretty well. But on the right side, they're not touching the ground. So it looks like that foot peg, that foot peg thing was an issue. So because his foot pegs sit further back, it gives the crash bars more room in the front to take the impact. Oh, my front brake feels really bad. Oh my gosh. Is my front brake leaking? Something blew. Something just happened to my front brake. It's done. Ah, oh, that sucks. I gotta bleed it again or something. Oh shoot, that's a... I gotta go. Either way, guys, um, I'm gonna go to another spot. All right, we gotta get the heck out of here. If I tried to do the dash right now, uh, I don't think I'd be able to get it done. Yeah, I think this person is following me. Oh man, my front brake is completely shot. Yeah, the lean angle is fantastic. Maybe that's why he made them so much shorter. Try to get up here and do this. Yes, green light. Here we go. Ooh, that front brake is gone. No. Oh, it's going to slip. That guy was about to come talk to me, but I'm going, boy. Next week, I'm going to have to do a more in-depth video about drifting because I'll have to go to the stunt lot this Sunday uh, and just take time and really beat on them. But I got to get these brakes fixed, and where I was at was definitely not the most ideal spot to be uh, drifting in. Huge shout-out to Chewy. I'm going to leave his Instagram, like I said, down below. I cannot thank him enough for giving me the opportunity to beat on these. I literally am just a Joe Schmo, as uh, John's Motor Garage would say. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm literally just figuring all this stuff out, so I appreciate him uh, seeing me and just, you know, reaching out and giving me the opportunity to try these crash bars out. Um, that does not change the fact that I'm still going to give a very unbiased opinion. He asked me to be very honest and uh, really scrutinize him, and every time I talk to him, he's like, dude, no, beat him up, break him. Every time I talk to him, I ask him, I'm like, are you sure you want me to break them? They're really nice. And he's always like, dude, literally beat them until they break. And so I, I, I can't ask more of a, of a person trying to make it um, and a person fabricating parts for motorcycles because I feel like too many motorcycle parts out here are just crap. They're just crap and they're made, uh, they're made cheap. They're made for the most profit and not for the, the highest quality. And I think that companies out there that do the best are the ones that put out the highest quality and uh, could give a crap about the price. So, and those are the parts I, I would rather spend $500 for a crash bar that's actually going to save my bike than spend $250 for a crash bar that's not going to do anything for me. So, but unfortunately, because of my brakes, it's going to do it for today. I'm Aaron. This is Cardi Productions. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Flawless. Come on. Give me yours. <laughs> yours, looks like, yours looks like me after a day of writing. Okay.